something we all need to do, spring clean our wardrobe. And who better to help us than personal stylist Trudy Bennett. Welcome back, Trudy. Thanks, Mel. I know this is something you actually really like to do. I really like to do it. So what do we need to do? The first thing we need to do when spring cleaning our wardrobe. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to haul it all out. And I'm talking from the wardrobe, from the floor drobe, you name it. You know, the, the, the pieces that are hanging behind that bridesmaid dress from 1999 that you really don't think are still, you oh, know. Oh, that's precious. I know, that's precious, but all those clothes that just haul it all out. People are amazed by how much they actually have. All the yeah. drawers, everything out, laid on the bed. So you've got to have some time to do this. Oh, like, we're talking about three weeks or so? Well, we're going to sleep while this is going on. Maybe in your wardrobe. Right? Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah, well, you do. You do. You need to look at it as an exercise where you're going to spend a day or an afternoon getting it all out so you can actually have a look at it. And then you're going to look at each piece individually. <laughs> you're laughing. I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at, at an afternoon. Who can yeah. do this in an afternoon? Uh, well, most people, perhaps not the, okay, not what the hoarders well, like I you can, and I. Yeah, exactly. God, I'd be there all day. But then what you need to do is you need to look at each piece and you need to go, OK, ask yourself three questions. Number one, is this a good colour for me? Do I like it? Do I get compliments on it? How do I feel in it? Number two, you need to say, is this a good shape for me? Okay, so colour and shape first. Yeah. Is it the right neckline? Is it the right length? And thirdly, does it fit? Okay. Because as women, we do like to pad out the wardrobe with, that's the skinny clothes, that's what we fit, that's what we wear when we're, you know, all those ranges. And it just m blows yeah, the wardrobe out. Aspirational stuff, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Pack it away. You just want to see what you can see. Okay, so you've got your stuff that fits you and is a nice colour on you. And a good shape. In so one colour, pile. shape, fit. Yep. Right. And so once you've weeded all that out, that's what's going to be rehung. So what do you do to rehang it then? Just okay. shove it all back in? Well. No, you don't shove it all back in, no, do you? No, you do not shove it back in. Okay. You colour code it. Of course Hello. you do. Hello. Silly me. <laughs> what was I thinking? So what you do is you, is you colour code it. So instead of people separating like trousers, skirts, jackets, all that sort of stuff, if you hang like-minded colours together, you get more inspiration on what to put with what. So let's say you had a skirt that was multicoloured and different pinks and you hung it next to a pink jacket, you're going to look at that and go, hey, that's a good combo together. So it actually inspires creativity if you, if you colour code. And so what should be hung up and what should be put in drawers? So the only thing that needs to go in drawers are underwear, sleepwear, exercise gear and round home stuff. So anything you do not need to think about to put an outfit together, that's what goes in the drawers. Because quite often when I see clients, they've got tops and drawers and bottoms hanging in wardrobes and you know they say, I, I don't know how to put things together. Well, that's going to make it a lot harder. I've got half my decent dresses rolled up and put into drawers. I don't want to hear this. I don't want I, to I, You're it. never ever going to come to my house. I'm clearly not. not. <laughs> I don't know if we can be friends. I'm going I'm to have an intervention, I think. <laughs> So I think we're going to have to end this interview very soon. <laughs> so I've got all these piles of unwanted clothes because I've been very good and I've sorted everything out. What can I do with them? Well, you've got three options. You can sell, uh, or actually four. You can give them away to friends, or you can do a really good deed and look at giving them away to Dress for Success if there's any work clothes because they are a fantastic organisation. Or secondly, the Women's Refuge have a store in Takapuna that yes. they take in all clothes and all proceeds from that go to the Women's Refuge. Okay. So. Lots of options. Great. Lots of food for thought there. Thank you so much, Trudy. Now, if you want some more top tips from Trudy, you can check out her website, wardrobeflare.com.